Hey, welcome to this tutorial. And uh, we're gonna do Blender surfaces, cloud surfaces um, using Blender and Python. In this tutorial, uh, we're gonna see how how this is done using the script, a Python script. I made the Python script so you can download it here on GitHub on Blender Mathematics. Is the uh, number four so we animated the surface plots. Go here and download the script. I've already got the script so. I didn't download it, but you can't go there and check it out. Don't forget to start my GitHub, yo. So, okay. The script itself is here, it's already here. So, um, there's not much to do with the script. Um, there is, you can change the render properties. So, it's the render engine cycles, number of samples, you know, is true or false. You can change the settings as you want. And then you can uh, change here the access properties. So the title of the plot, you can change the title for what you want. You can change the level axis X, Y, and Z labels as well to what you want, what you please. You can change the the axis, so you can change the color of the axis, the X limb, Y limb, Z limb. You can change a number of things. Have some fun. You can even change the the planes X or Y plane, Y or Z plane, X or Z plane. You can change the color of this plane, so have some fun. Um, and then here, at the end of the at the end of the script, everything else doesn't matter because it's just functions. You don't have to change anything if you don't want to. Okay, so um, at the very end, we have here the function to change. So you'll want to change this. Uh, so this is an animation, by the way. So you have a time axis, so it's t. The variable for the time in this case spans from zero seconds to three, three seconds with this interval with this time resolution and then um, maximum step for the animation is 120 so in this case the animation will have 120 frames okay so if you change this you'll change the number of frames let's change to three frames just to exemplify how it's how the process is created and then you can change it back to other twenty other. Okay, make it more useful for this. Um so let's see if it's uh, okay so we have here uh, the loop for loop for step in the range of one to maximum step. In this case we have three three frames and we're gonna have here the function to change. This is the function we have currently because it's a normal room mode the one of the room modes acoustic room modes if you're into acoustics great if you're not it's okay uh, and then here we have another uh, plot with a with a function with this uh, exponential function okay uh, and then you can change this function to what you want so just to to, uh, to what you want to see what the results you, you get so this is the uh, you change here the function and then you run it. Let's run it. When when you run it, by the way, it's a bus, a bus, bus bit of explanation. When you run it, it'll save this to the file path here. It'll save the animations, the the images, the sequence of images. You'll save them to this file path. So you change this file path according to what you want. You'll have this. You'll save the file name here, VR shot, and then uh, the index. You change this to whatever you want, so feel free to do it and have fun. And that's it. That's the only things you have to do in this plot. Let's, let's have a look what it does. So it's starting creating. My computer sack of potatoes is starting creating the plot. It takes a while. But let's see what it does. It'll have only three frames two frames actually two frames so it's uh, it's going to be very very short it won't be any animation in this case it's just be basically an image but just to illustrate where how it saves the files and how the process works so here you go we have our f our first uh, image so this is one of the images here we get um and then the other images should be
okay so it's finished so you can see here the part choking so okay the two images okay they're the same um and then uh, you can see the animation i made this is for the room mode there was 120 video function so you can see a video a quite nice video you can put this video on presentations i guess on powerpoint or something like that so this is the the video again you can put it in loop if you wish i made the video on blender you can check my tutorials so check how to do this how to convert image sequences into gifs and videos this is the gif you can put gif on websites and then you have here the images so individual images for for this was the individual images generated with this script so there you go there you go and um that's it that's not anything else to say about it so 120 images for 30 frames per second if you want to learn how to make this how to convert these images into videos or gifs feel free to check my tutorials and um even it not in the comments if you get stuck okay see you guys in a bit bye